This is incredible, y'all. Musk has just revealed the first Starship payload mission to Mars set for next year, and the plan is absolutely insane. The timeline is ambitious, but if there's one company that thrives on pushing boundaries, it's SpaceX. Meanwhile, Falcon 9, after facing some challenges, is now accelerating at full speed, smashing records and reinforcing SpaceX's unmatched dominance in the industry. A perfect example of this is the Crew-10 mission, a major success that once again highlights SpaceX's crucial role in supporting the International Space Station. Let's dive into all this on today's episode of Great SpaceX. Starship is accelerating rapidly, but is also facing significant challenges, particularly in its last two flights. The ships have exploded prematurely, raising concerns and doubts about the program's process or progress, I should say. However, despite these setbacks, Super Heavy has been consistently landing successfully with Mechazilla arms, keeping our hopes alive for Starship's long-term success. And just recently, that hope soared even higher as Musk officially unveiled SpaceX's boldest plan yet for Starship. He announced Starship departs for Mars at the end of next year, carrying Optimus. If those landings go well, then human landings may start as soon as 2029, although 2031 is more likely. Wow! This is absolutely insane. First, SpaceX is targeting its first ever payload mission to Mars by the end of 2026. This timeline is incredibly aggressive, giving SpaceX engineers only about a year and a half to prepare for and execute a historic interplanetary flight. But what's even more surprising is the payload itself. Inside this starship will be Optimus, a humanoid robot developed by Tesla, another one of Musk's companies. If this sounds familiar, it's because SpaceX has done something like this before. Remember the first Falcon Heavy launch in 2018? That mission famously carried Musk's personal Tesla Roadster with the Starman mannequin into deep space instantly becoming one of the most iconic moments in spaceflight history. Now, nine years later, SpaceX is preparing for a similar milestone, but on a far greater scale. A new rocket, a new payload, and a new destination, Mars. Are you excited for this mission? Comment, let's go Optimus, to show your support for SpaceX, like the video, and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on SpaceX's incredible journey. Now, let's talk about the schedule. As Musk pointed out, if SpaceX can launch and successfully land Optimus on Mars, the company will rapidly scale up these missions, paving the way for crewed landings by 2029 or as late as 2031. This timeline aligns with what Musk previously stated in late 2024 when he mentioned SpaceX's plan for an uncrewed mission to Mars within two years, followed by a crewed mission four years later. Achieving this goal will require an immense effort from SpaceX. With just 18 months remaining, the company faces a daunting list of milestones that must be met to stay on track. Mastering Starship's flight trajectory is a fundamental step, ensuring precision and reliability in every mission. Perfecting landings for both Super Heavy and the ship using Mechazilla arms is equally critical, as full reusability remains central to the vehicle's success. Meanwhile, while refining payload deployment techniques will be essential for operational efficiency in future missions. Perhaps the most crucial challenge is demonstrating successful orbital refueling, a technology that'll be a game changer for deep space exploration, including Mars missions. To prove Starship's readiness, SpaceX must also execute multiple uncrewed and crewed test flights, pushing the vehicle to its limits before entrusting it with human lives. Beyond flight testing, rapid advancements in Starship manufacturing, launch infrastructure, spacesuits, and life support systems are all necessary to support sustained operations. With time slipping away, SpaceX must operate at an unprecedented pace to turn this ambitious vision into reality. But the Optimus mission is just the beginning. Even after that, SpaceX will need to conduct multiple successful flights to prove its ability to send payloads to Mars consistently. 
Although Musk has set 2031 as the more likely time frame for human landings, I hope SpaceX achieves this as early as 2029. If they can, it would give the US a massive advantage in the Mars race, where China is also aggressively developing its own interplanetary ambitions. There will be many obstacles, but SpaceX has strong reasons to be optimistic. Beyond Starship's direct progress, the company is also dominating the global launch market. Musk recently shared an astonishing statistic. SpaceX will launch over 90% of all Earth's payload mass to orbit this year. China will be around 5%, and the rest of the world, including the rest of America, around 5%. When Starship is launched at high rate, SpaceX will probably carry greater than 99% of Earth's payload mass to orbit. This is necessary to make Mars a self-sustaining civilization. He then emphasized, we want to make it so that anyone can travel to Mars if they would like. This statement underscores the true purpose of Starship, not just exploration, but colonization. The vision is clear, a future where humanity thrives as a multi-planetary species. And remember, Optimus will be the first step in making that vision a reality. So let's support him and the entire SpaceX team on this incredible journey. Who knows? The next passengers to Mars might be us. Are you ready? In other news, SpaceX is making a powerful comeback with the Falcon 9, demonstrating its dominance in the commercial launch industry once again. Earlier, I discussed Musk's ambitious goal for SpaceX this year, delivering 90% of the world's payload to orbit. Naturally, the Falcon rocket family, particularly the Falcon 9, will play the biggest role in achieving this target. However, the past few weeks have been challenging for Falcon 9. After a failed booster landing on the March 2nd, Second mission, SpaceX paused Falcon 9 flights for over a week, but now they've returned stronger than ever, selling new records and proving their capabilities. Most notably, SpaceX achieved the incredible feat of launching three Falcon 9 missions in just 13 hours. On X, the company proudly posted Falcon 9 completes three missions in around 13 hours. Four ash okay, launching four astronauts to the space station, 74 rideshare payloads to orbit, and adding 23 Starlink satellites to the constellation. Musk followed up with his own message, Congratulations, SpaceX team, on three successful rocket flights in half a day. The first of these missions was Crew-10, which lifted off from Launch Complex 39A at 7.03 p.m. Eastern on the 14th, carrying four astronauts to the International Space Station. I'll cover that mission in more detail later. Just eight hours later, at 2.43 a.m. Eastern on the 15th, SpaceX launched the Transporter 13 mission from SLC-4E in California. This mission successfully deployed 74 payloads into orbit and marked SpaceX. SpaceX's 30th mission of the year. The booster for this mission, B-1081, executed a flawless landing at Landing Zone 4, marking its 13th flight. More significantly, this milestone also marked the 400th successful Falcon 9 booster landing, an astonishing industry record unlikely to be matched by any other company anytime soon. Musk celebrated the moment by posting, Congratulations, SpaceX team, on 400 landings of Falcon 9. This achievement was particularly important after the booster landing failure earlier in the month, proving that SpaceX's landing technology remains robust despite occasional setbacks. Finally, at 7.35 a.m. Eastern on the 15th, SpaceX launched its third mission of the day from SLC-40, deploying 23 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit. The booster for this mission, B-1078, successfully landed on the Just Read the Instructions drone ship, marking its 8th flight. SpaceX's ability to conduct three successful launches within such a short time frame highlights its unparalleled efficiency. While some attribute this capability to its multiple launch pads, no other organization today can optimize resources and execute launches at this pace. SpaceX is truly redefining industry standards. With these three flights, SpaceX has now completed 31 Falcon 9 missions in 2025. They are coming back stronger than ever and still have nine and a half months to reach their ambitious goal of over 180 launches this year. Stay tuned, this is just the beginning.
And for our final bit of news today, among the three recent SpaceX missions, Crew-10 stands out as particularly significant. This marks the 14th Dragon mission to the ISS under NASA's commercial crew program. Following liftoff, SpaceX successfully executed stage separation, and the booster for this mission, B-1090, touched down flawlessly at landing zone 1, marking its second successful landing. Meanwhile, the Dragon capsule separated from the second stage and began its 29-hour journey to the ISS. At precisely 12.04 a.m. Eastern on March 16th, Dragon successfully docked with the station, officially completing another textbook mission. Musk shared footage of the docking, accompanied by a simple but proud message, SpaceX Dragon docks with Space Station. The handover process will take place shortly, with Crew-10 set to spend six months aboard the ISS before returning to Earth in October. The mission holds particular importance for NASA as it paves the way for Crew-9's return. That crew includes two Starliner astronauts who have been stranded on the ISS for an extended nine-month stay due to ongoing issues with Boeing's Starliner spacecraft. Their return is currently planned for the morning of the 18th with a targeted landing time of 5.57 a.m. Eastern, though adjustments may be made based on weather conditions. Let's hope for a smooth and safe journey home. Crew-10's success once again highlights SpaceX's crucial role in sustaining NASA's ISS operations, particularly as other commercial partners like Boeing with its Starliner program continue to face delays and challenges. Given Starliner's ongoing struggles, perhaps it's time for NASA to reevaluate to reevaluate its investment in the program. Meanwhile, Dragon simply needs to continue delivering the same level of reliability and performance to keep NASA and the U.S. firmly positioned in space. This has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly in the latest details of SpaceX's progress alongside the entire aerospace industry.